question. Hey, Benjamin, this is Jack from Atlanta. Hey, um, how's it going, man? Sort of, good. Uh, some points to kind of, I guess, follow up what you've been saying recently. Um, you know, one of the arguments that people make for Republic, Republicans is that, you know, the trickle-down theory and, you know, money will trickle down. Mm-hmm. Why, don't, why doesn't the left make the argument that by increasingly giving these tax breaks to millionaires, eventually you're going to have to start taking more taxes from the, the people on the bottom? You know what I mean? Exactly. Actually, that's... And, go ahead. Go ahead. And also, the whole idea that taxes are bad and, you know, we shouldn't pay taxes because we should have more money in our own pockets, that's a false argument because mm-hmm. surely, you know, ultimately you're going to have to pay more out-of-pocket for healthcare, for school, for yeah. whatever, you know what I mean? So, again, I'm happy if my taxes go up as long as I get education and I get healthcare and I get, you know, what my taxes are paying for. Yeah. So well, that's, uh, um, you know, what I want to say. Quick, quick, quick question. What was your name again? Uh, Jack. Jack, Jack, that's some very yep. good arguments. Jack, I want you to call back on those arguments particularly because you, you've you cut right to the core of something that I think is a problem. Um, basically, I think you got a pretty sharp mind, man. Definitely call back in so we can talk more about it. Appreciate it. I will. Yeah, I love the show. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks so much. All right, folks. Um, Jack actually had a good question and a good point. And, and the problem is I don't know if um, maybe Democrats just haven't been as smart as we thought they were, right? Progressives have been aligning with them. but what Jack just said there is one of the best arguments against trickle down economics. And when have you heard anybody roll it out in a meaningful, substantive way? What you've heard are people who have fit progressivism or try to force progressivism inside of Republican economic theory. And finally, after 35 years, we're waking up and saying, no, it doesn't fit because the theory is not sound and because you're undermining uh, the very bedrock of our middle class. And in two seconds, Jack just gave a great argument against it. Um, There's so much more that we could go over, man. Uh, Maybe it's a good thing that I'm not gonna talk about the feminism.